Since the dark shadows of World War II, Japan has walked a cautious line when it comes to its military power. Especially in the skies, its air force has lagged far behind the cutting edge of modern warfare. Now, with China and Russia racing ahead, rolling out new generations of lethal fighter jets, Japan finds itself in a desperate race against time. The island nation knows one truth all too well. It cannot afford to depend solely on foreign allies for its survival. Japan first looked for the most obvious solution. That meant acquiring the advanced F-22 Raptor, America's fifth-generation stealth fighter built by Lockheed Martin. These jets, unmatched in their ability to challenge Russian and Chinese rivals, seemed like the perfect answer. But Washington slammed the door shut, banning the export of the Raptor to safeguard its secret technology. Suddenly, Japan was left cornered with no way out. And in the face of this setback, the nation made a bold choice. Japan then made a daring, history-making decision to build its own sixth-generation fighter jet. The plan was nothing short of monumental, packed with challenges at every step. But if successful, it wouldn't just create an extraordinary warplane. It would launch Japan straight into the global stage of advanced weapons development. For decades, the nation had relied on a modest air force, strong enough only to deter its powerful neighbors. But in recent years, the balance has shifted dramatically, and Tokyo can no longer ignore the threat. Japan's leaders soon grew alarmed. The gap wasn't just about numbers, though China now fields nearly six fighters for every single Japanese jet. The real danger came from how quickly both Beijing and Moscow were modernizing. Out went the aging Cold War machines, and in came advanced designs. China's J-10 and stealthy J-20, alongside Russia's Su-57. Each one, a multi-role fighter built with cutting-edge stealth features. To make matters worse, both superpowers began ramping up incursions into Japanese airspace, a deliberate provocation meant to test Tokyo's readiness and to rattle its allies. For decades, Japan leaned heavily on its F-15 Eagles, capable, yes, but old introduced way back in 1974. More recently, Tokyo acquired a small fleet of fifth-generation F-35 Lightning IIs, but those jets faced harsh criticism. Constant technical glitches, limited weapons payloads, and the frustrating fact they could only carry four AIM-120 air-to-air missiles. By comparison, China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57 can haul six, and America's F-22 Raptor, a full eight. Clearly outmatched in both numbers and technology, Japan turned once more to its closest ally, the United States. Their request, the F-22 Raptor, the very fighter that had long been considered the gold standard of air superiority. But Washington flatly refused. Exporting the Raptor was banned to protect its most classified stealth secrets. And just like that, Japan found itself boxed in with no options left on the table. Yet Tokyo refused to bow to circumstance. Instead, it made a bold and decisive move. Build a sixth-generation warplane of its own. Thus, the FX program was born in the early 2000s. Its mission? Create a jet so advanced it wouldn't just match foreign rivals, it would surpass them. By 2009, Japan's Ministry of Defense launched a sweeping study of current and future fighter technologies. The result was the I-3 fighter concept, short for informed, intelligent, and instantaneous. But to reach that level meant tackling enormous technical challenges. This new aircraft would need advanced radar systems capable of countering stealth enemies. It had to integrate data from drones, fighters, and early warning aircraft in real time. It even demanded fiber optic flight controls processing data at unprecedented speeds. Engineers also set their sights on gallium nitride semiconductors for radar performance, 
along with a brand new, more powerful engine. To test all of this, Japan built something unique, the Mitsubishi X2 Shinshin. This experimental prototype became a flying laboratory, allowing engineers to push boundaries, refine components, and bring their sixth-generation dream closer to reality. The X2 proved far more than just a prototype. Its flexible design allowed engineers to swap components quickly, test new systems, and integrate emerging technologies with remarkable efficiency. Between 2016 and 2018, the Shinshin took to the skies, serving as a critical stepping stone in Japan's sixth-generation fighter program. By every measure, the X-2 was a resounding success. Many of the technologies validated during its flights were marked for direct integration into Japan's future warplane. With its sleek profile and extended nose section, the aircraft measured 46.5 feet in length, carried a wingspan of nearly 30 feet, and stood about 15 feet tall. Its cropped delta wings, reinforced by advanced root extensions, allowed it to remain stable even at extreme angles of attack, an essential trait for high-intensity dogfights. Twin outward-canted vertical stabilizers improved aerodynamics while reducing radar visibility, sharpening its stealth profile. The single-seat jet featured a retractable tricycle landing gear and advanced aerodynamic control surfaces. It also showcased twin rectangular intakes, each carefully shaped to smooth airflow, boost efficiency, and cut drag. Drawing on every lesson from the Shinshin, Japan's Ministry of Defense greenlit the next phase in 2020, the development of the Mitsubishi FX. This stealth monster is expected to dwarf even the mighty F-22, earning it the nickname Godzilla. Its greater size will mean longer range, heavier payloads, and an arsenal capacity that surpasses the F-35. Japan's defense minister, Taro Kono, made it clear. The FX will be built with integrated networking capabilities and an unmatched missile load. To reach that vision, multiple design concepts were tested and refined using advanced 3D modeling and virtual simulations. Every detail was scrutinized to maximize speed, agility, and stealth. And unlike traditional fighters, the FX will ditch hydraulic controls entirely, replacing them with electric actuators, granting engineers more design freedom, cutting weight, and boosting reliability. Instead of relying on bulky hydraulic systems, the FX will be driven by advanced electric actuators. This breakthrough gives engineers unprecedented freedom to shape the aircraft's structure while reducing weight and increasing durability. Even the assembly process is reimagined. High-tech adhesive bonding replaces traditional fasteners, cutting down manpower hours and ensuring a stronger, lighter frame. Powering this beast will be two XF9 engines, each capable of delivering over 44,000 pounds of thrust. With three-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, the FX promises unmatched agility in the skies, while simultaneously enhancing its stealth profile. On the sensor side, the FX will carry an arsenal of advanced detection systems built to counter enemy stealth fighters. These include an active electronically scanned array radar, a passive radio frequency sensor, and infrared cameras all boosted by gallium nitride semiconductors to sharpen performance against low RCS targets. For defense, the FX won't just rely on speed or stealth. It will be equipped with an automated RF self-defense system that can instantly scramble incoming radio waves, disrupting hostile missile locks before they strike. Inside the cockpit, pilots will gain a futuristic edge, a wide field of view helmet, mounted display, a full color binocular screen, integrated voice commands, and immersive 3D audio.
Every element is designed to expand situational awareness and reduce reaction times in combat. Stealth is pushed to extremes. The FX will employ serpentine air intakes, internal weapons bays, radar-absorbing coatings, and metamaterials that slash its radar cross-section. A plasma stealth antenna system will even generate short bursts of ionized gas, bending incoming radio waves away from the aircraft. But here's the real twist. The FX won't just carry conventional missiles or bombs. It's expected to wield a microwave cannon capable of frying the electronics of incoming missiles mid-flight. And if that's not enough, the jet will command loyal wingman drones, autonomous combat partners able to scout, launch weapons, deflect threats, and even sacrifice themselves to protect the main fighter. If the FX Godzilla delivers even half of what Japan envisions, it could become the most formidable warplane on Earth. More than just a weapon, its success would catapult Japan into the elite tier of global defense manufacturers reshaping the balance of power in the skies. In this high-stakes theater where speed, stealth, and sovereign capability are more than buzzwords, Japan's pursuit of a sixth-generation warplane becomes not just about aviation, but about identity, deterrence, and geopolitical gravity. What Japan is building is a statement that in the face of rival air forces surging ahead, copy-pasting old doctrines will no longer suffice. Recent developments suggest that the United States, once Japan's key technological gatekeeper, is beginning to recalibrate its position. Reports indicate that the U.S. has offered the F-47 NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, stealth fighter for export to Japan. This is a potentially seismic shift. Washington, under mounting geopolitical pressure from China's J-20 divided by J-50 advances and Russia's Su-57 production delays, appears to be weighing whether to relax its long-standing export restrictions that have kept the F-22 Raptor off the table. Meanwhile, joint projects like the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, in which Japan participates alongside the UK and Italy, are laying the industrial and strategic groundwork for a shared, sixth-generation future. GCAP is designed not merely as a new jet, but as a web of systems, sensor fusion, data integrators, loyal autonomous wingmen, and AI-driven decision loops, the stakes, fielding operational capability by 2035. This isn't just investment, it's mindset transformation. And that mindset demands more than incremental upgrades, it demands platforms that can hold their own when geopolitical currents turn hostile. One pivotal dimension often overlooked is the moral psychological capital. A credible sixth generation air force doesn't just defend airspace, it deters aggression by making opponents believe that costs will be too high. It reassures allies that Japan isn't a passenger in regional security. It signals to adversaries that any miscalculation in the skies could become an asymmetric setback. But the path forward is not easy. Technological hurdles, next-gen engines, AI integration, resilient stealth across all domains, collide with economic constraints, cost overruns, industrial scale, Export controls. Political risk is real. Japan must ensure transparency and maintain democratic oversight to avoid becoming ensnared in a wrong or rushed procurement decision. And finally, the timeline is unforgiving. With rivals accelerating, delays can become strategic liabilities. If Japan succeeds, the reward is enormous for its people, for its regional standing, for its alliance with the U.S., it could shift the flickers of uncertainty into a long shadow of deterrence. For the U.S., it means a stronger partner in Asia, capable of relieving pressure, sharing intelligence, contributing to deterrence in the South China Sea, over Taiwan, across the East China Sea. Together, this demands not just jets, but vision.